go, 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 go.
The estate is a traditional Welsh estate with a villa, servants' quarters, stables, farm buildings and walled garden, set in a landscape which is both beautiful and productive. For over three centuries the estate was home to ten generations of the same family. Each generation contributed to the estate as we see it today. The estate was purchased in 1634 by Llewellyn Parry. At this point the estate comprised of a small farmhouse with 500 acres of land and a small formal garden, possibly the first in Wales. The walled gardens have been producing fruit and vegetables for over 200 years. The south facing walls were all heated by fire pits when first built and evidence of these remains as well as two beds heated by hypercausts which were used for fruit production. David Evans, I, I'm from Aberystwyth, near Aberystwyth. Um, I come here every uh, Thursday, which um, I enjoy and meeting people, yeah. And you specialise in? In leather work and yeah. harness work. And, um, and your also, latest commission is with which company? It's where well, I'm working for fir well, not for firmies, but for a firm that's involved with them, and yeah. uh, it's uh, it's a pleasure to do that. Yeah. yeah, it's a driving bridle. This one is. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Pigsties. Up until 1970, they housed up to 20 hounds, two spaniels, two to three terriers, 20 ferrets, and the farm cats. Prior to that, they were pigsties, which they are now home to Lancheron's pedigree Welsh pigs. Circular stone stands called rick stands were used for storing crops above the cold damp ground. Hay and cereal crops such as wheat, oats, barley and rye were stored on the stands and in the barns. Three of the stands are for storing cereals. A pole would have been inserted in the centre and used as a guide to help stack the sheaves evenly. Note the overhanging edges to prevent rats getting into the stacks. Oh yes!
The villa is a complete example of the early work of John Nash. Work started in the 1790s. When commissioned to design a new house, John Nash was a little-known architect from London. He later established his reputation as a great Regency architect, responsible for designing the Royal Pavilion in Brighton and Buckingham Palace. The house was transformed under Nash's vision from a small farmhouse into an elegant villa.